Welcome to Astron Your Archives. I'm Joe Lipinski. And I'm Marissa Maggs. And we are two archivists working in the archives at Trinity Church Wall Street. Someone wants to know who are the Astors and what was their involvement and connection to Trinity Church? In our last video, I began talking about the connection between Trinity Church and the Astor family and talked about their contribution of the Raritos that still stands in Trinity today. The second piece of art with Astor connections are Trinity's bronze doors. In 1891, the three sets of doors located at the main and side entrances were proposed by William Waldorf Astor, a member of the vestry at the time, in remembrance of his father, John Jacob Astor III, for his, quote, long attendance upon the services of the church and his connection with the corporation. Astor hired architect Richard M. Hunt to oversee the creation on the theme of expulsion from paradise. Hunt decided to hire three different designers and assign each one a separate set of doors. Carl Bitter was hired to design the main entrance doors, portraying the theme of Thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. J. Massey Rind was assigned the north entrance doors with the theme of deliverance from tribulation. And finally, Charles Henry Niehaus was assigned the south entrance doors, portraying principal people in the history of Manhattan and Trinity Church. So the first set of panels on the main entrance doors present a study of the first age, followed by the age of incarnation, and then the last age. Above these panels, on a transom, appears the 12 apostles on their thrones, and above the apostles in the tympanum is the figure of Christ in majesty. His arms are outstretched, a culmination of the opening the kingdom of heaven theme. Supplementary to the main door panels are several carved statues that appear around the border. Each representative of the respective panel's themes, presenting mortality and sin, time and tradition, eternity and divine justice. The north entrance door panels, designed by Rind, represent deliverance via the Passover in Egypt from the Book of Exodus and the flight to a city of refuge from Deuteronomy. The central pair consists of scenes from the Acts of the Apostles. Finally, the south entrance door panels depict major individuals and events in New York City up to the mid-19th century. First, there is Henry Hudson on his ship off the coast of Manhattan in 1609, followed by Trinity's second rector, Henry Barclay, preaching to the Native Americans in 1738. Next is George Washington entering St. Paul's Chapel after his inauguration in 1789, followed by the consecration of four bishops in 1832, meant to represent the end of an era of uncertainty and the beginning of a new era of earnest missionary work. The final two panels depict the consecration of the Third Trinity Church in 1846 and the dedication of the Astor Raritos in 1877. That's all we have for today, but we'd love to hear from you. We welcome any questions you have and we'll do our best to answer them in a future videos. Thanks for tuning in.